everybody is having a great week so far. I have just decided that I am going to start posting every Wednesday and Friday just because I have a ton of videos I've already finished and edited and they're unlisted right now and I just want to get them out. And I have so many other ideas that I just want to keep going with so I'm just going to keep that up for as long as I possibly can. Uh, if school gets too difficult or work and stuff like that, I'm gonna have to scale back, but for now I feel like I can do it. I'm getting ready to go to the Omega Phi Alpha recruitment week. Today is the first night and it is info night. So tonight we're going to go and just learn about the sorority and get to know each other and all of that fun jazz. I don't know how much I'm gonna film in there because I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable and I also don't want to put anybody on camera that doesn't want to be on camera. I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this for about two weeks now and I wanted to join a sorority when I first decided to go to UCF but then I ended up with this apartment and I went to Costa Rica and I just realized that I don't really like living with people. I prefer being on my own. So I figured that I wouldn't do well in that situation as well as I didn't want to get caught up in a party scene or anything like that because I am really focused on school right now. I'm really focused on graduating and getting my degree. And I also don't look like the stereotypical party sorority girls and I didn't want that to make me feel uncomfortable. I would rather be happy with myself and happy with what I'm doing. And so when I found this sorority, it's volunteer based, I thought that that would be something that fits my needs perfectly. So I'm really excited and hopefully the next uh, couple clips you'll see are there. So. I just got home a little bit ago from the first night of recruitment for the Mega Phi Alpha sorority that I plan on joining, if I get a bid. And it was just info night, so I ended up being a few minutes late because of traffic. And then when I came in, they were kind of introducing all of the board members. And then when they were done with that, they had us do the name game where we each had to say an adjective and then our name and then we had to go around the circle and each person had to start with the first person and then add on the next person and then add on themselves at the end and i was like four people from the end so i had to name everybody but we had so many people in our group that had a name that started with M. So we just started calling all of the A's awesome, blah, blah, blah. And then there, uh, anybody with an M was marvelous, blah, blah, blah. So we went around and that was cool. We got to know each other. And uh, my name was Radiant Rochelle. So I ended up being in the same group as Megan and Amanda. And they are those who lovely ladies that I spoke to when I was signing up for recruitment and Amanda is just such a sweetheart she was so excited to see me and she's like Rochelle I'm so glad you got here and so I spent some time afterwards talking to them but then after we finished our first game then we went to another game where it was called the link and the first person said like, I like memes. And then if you like memes too, you raise your hand and then she picks somebody that raised their hand. And then you link up and then you come up with something. And so each one of us had to say something. And the point of it was so that we could show that we all have something that connects us. And mine was, the one I got picked for was music, I believe. And then the one that I said was that I was obsessed with David Dobrik. So I actually made a friend because I told her I was like, she was like, oh, me too. I'm obsessed too. So we started talking and um, that was awesome. And then after that, we just kind of got the info about dues and what the sorority is going to do for us and everything like that. And one thing I thought was really cool was that our... I don't remember what she actually is. She's in like charge of everything. Her name is Nikki and she talked about, somebody asked her why she joined the sorority 
and she talked about the fact that now I don't want to like get this wrong but she talked about how she likes the fact that you're never alone that it doesn't matter like what you're going through you always have somebody there that can help you or you can help and she got really emotional when she was saying it and it just kind of hit me and I was like that's amazing and I guess that's kind of why I am planning on joining is that I love helping people. I have volunteered so many different places. I volunteered at a food bank. I used to volunteer at a wildlife refuge. I volunteered for a church where we made these food packs that were sent to Ethiopia. I have volunteered at Fleet Farming, which is a place here in Orlando that goes around and grows produce and then takes it to the farmer's market and many, many more volunteer opportunities I've taken up in the past. And I just love helping the community. I love helping people. And it kind of got me thinking of like why I started this YouTube channel because I just want to help people. I just want to make a difference in the world. And she said something about how you can't make a change if it's just you sometimes. Sometimes you need a big group of people. You need to all come together and make a change. And I guess that's kind of what I'm hoping for with this channel is that I can get people who want to make a change much like I have and then they can also get more people to change. So that was kind of cool how I was able to bring that into this. And yeah, so tomorrow night is service night. And so for service night, we're going to be writing letters to children in hospitals that are sick. So I'm really excited about that. I'll probably take a little bit more video tomorrow. Tonight was just kind of more learning about the sorority itself. So I didn't think it was anything to take videos of. So I'm excited to do that tomorrow. I'm also going to this Zumba thingy tomorrow. <laughs>
Ooh. Mm-hmm. It was way better than the Red Bull. That was really good. All right. Well, I'm gonna go in and hopefully I can film some and then I will show you guys everything, so. Ready, rock, paper, scissors, go! Oh, all right. That was very cool, guys. Ready? Paper, scissors, go! So I didn't really get a chance to film uh, last night after the sisterhood night and I also didn't film much at the sisterhood night because we were answering a bunch of personal questions about ourselves and stuff. Uh, but I got home really late because it went really late last night so I didn't really have time to film anything. But for what we did last night it was we just had four stations and we went around and would have to answer questions like we played Jenga and we'd have to answer the question of whatever block we got and we threw a beach ball and whatever question our hand landed on then that's the question we would answer and it was just to get to know each other better and so the uh, currents and the actives could get to know us better so tonight is the interview night they just sent us the questions i had two classes today and i was late and missed the first one and then my second class got canceled so now i'm probably gonna go get some food and i'm going to go over the interview questions and figure out what i'm going to say for them so i've been studying for the interview for the last like two hours and now I'm going to get ready for the interview and I'll show you a little uh, transformation. And then I'm going to go and wait for the interview to start. It's at 5.15 and it's 15 minutes long and I've already looked up the questions. So I feel pretty good about it. So. I just got done with my interview for OPA and I feel like it went really well. I got Amanda in my group, which was great, and Rashonda, 
and they seemed really excited when I was telling them my answers and responses to their questions and I started talking about the YouTube channel and some of my hopes and dreams and stuff like that and they seemed really excited about it. They wrote down the YouTube channel and they said they were going to look into it. They said that I will be finding out anywhere from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. tonight if I got in. So I will update you guys when I find out. So I just woke up and I am here to give you an update on the OPA bidding and everything. They told us a few nights ago that regardless of if you get in or not, you will receive a call. So they told me that they would call anywhere from probably 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. So last night I stayed up most of the night waiting for a call and I ended up falling asleep and I left my phone on the highest ringer I could. Like I just wanted to be able to hear it if they called. And I, every time I woke up, I would look at my phone and see if there was a missed call, but there wasn't. And so I kept falling asleep and I kept having dreams of like them calling me and saying, oh, you got in and me getting all excited about it. And I'd wake up and have to look at my phone and make sure that it was just a dream. And then this morning I looked and I was like, okay, they haven't called yet. Maybe they're just running behind schedule or something. And so I decided to look on my email just in case. I've been crying most of the morning, which you can see because my eyes. Yeah, you can tell. I felt like it killed the interview. Like I felt really, really good about the interview, which is good. I wasn't nervous at all, which I usually get nervous. So I thought that I did really good and I debated even putting this video out but I put a lot of work into it and I also had a lot of fun throughout the week so I wanted to still be able to put it out and I thought that like showing real life things like this would be kind of interesting but yeah I didn't get in I'm not sure why they didn't specify but I'm really sad I really wanted to get in uh, I felt like the sorority was basically made for me because it was all about community service and helping people and that's all I want to do with my life and they asked me in my interview why I chose OPA and I told them like this is everything I've ever wanted so I'm a little broken hearted right now um, they said I could try again in the fall, but in the fall I'll be a senior. Like, I'll be graduating, getting ready to graduate, so there's just no point. I still think that it's an amazing organization, and definitely if you ever wonder if you should join, I think that you should. It's a, It was a great experience. Um, I'm not so good in big crowds of people, and that was kind of interesting to do that. Everybody was so welcoming, it was a wonderful organization, and I'm so happy that I got to be a part of it for a week. Uh, what we did was really great, we made cards for kids, and we got to know each other, and got to know all the sisters, and that was just really amazing. So, if you guys are ever wondering to join, definitely do it. I definitely would recommend it. I will see you guys on Wednesday with my next video. My next video is going to be part one of my road trip. Really excited about that, so stay tuned for that. Don't use your teeth, kids. I'm really sweaty. Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> So if I don't get in, huh, you're never gonna see this. Mm -hmm.